Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Cooper's Amputee Lifestyle. And right here, I have Lee. He is going to Texas to accept a promotion in his company. So this is gonna be the last adventure we're gonna be able to take Lee on here in the Puget Sound, Washington. And right here, I have Jim Miner that's next to Lee. And then I have Sam Sam the Adventure Man right here. And we are gonna all have some fun today and we're gonna take Lee to go look for some critters, maybe go find something cool in the water. And uh, Lee, what do you have to say about this being one of your last adventures here in Puget Sound, Washington? Oh, geez. I'm putting you on the spot. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, you guys put me on the spot big time. Um, and I, I can't express my appreciation for having you guys as friends, meeting you guys this last year and the adventures we've had already and, and the couple little things that we've done in between. Um, I'm hoping that I can find some people that I can dive with that are going to be close to as cool as you guys have been, but you know, it's going to be hard. <laughs> well, not only that, like one of the most coolest things, like how we met was our love for metal detecting yeah. on land. Right. So when we're metal detecting on land, what do you think, what do you think uh, Texas is going, to, is going to hold for you, you know, going out there doing some metal detecting? Um, you know, I'm excited because the farther east you go, the older it gets. So oh, yeah. the chances of finding something really old. What do you think? Horseshoes, belt buckles from Civil War era stuff, maybe some old like Winchesters or anything? Well, uh, obviously you get into more areas where you had um, Civil War and Revolutionary War relics. Mm -hmm. um, the the silver coins get older. There's a chance to find more gold coins. Oh, because, wow. You know, um, everything started east and then moved west. So yeah. I'm sure a lot was dropped along the way. Now you just gotta <laughs> you just gotta be careful because when you reach down and digging, they do have uh, uh, something with a piece of rope with a rattle on the end or something like that. What do they call those things? Yeah, those those, those, those rattlesnakes or whatever. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> the funny part is, is I've already looked up what snakes are there. <laughs> I'm not trying yeah, to. Get, yeah, yeah. So you just gotta snake. be careful about that. You're like, right. oh, there's a hole here already. Right. Um, but that's where the signal is. <laughs> yeah. A lot of a lot of different critters that I'm gonna encounter, and yeah. a lot of snakes and scorpions. I'm not sure about those ones. I'm actually looking forward to running into. Yeah. A, a little armadillo. That's, yeah, that's what, cool. that's what Jim is saying. Yeah, there's scorpions down there too. Armadillos yeah. are nature's little tanks. <laughs> they have, a, they have a, any tarantulas or anything down I, there? I have no idea. They do have some pretty nasty spiders. Oh, well, you can have fun metal detecting <laughs> down there. Yeah. yeah, so I would say bring some good leather gloves and some boots. I do and know have there's a snake bite kit. Black widows and the, and the brown recluse. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we have those kind of up here anyway, yeah. but yeah, never really see them. But okay, cool, cool. Now, right. Jim, why don't you say something with Lee real quick? <laughs> Lee? I love you, man. Yeah. I can't stand that you're abandoning me, but hey, it's okay. Yeah. I just, I'm so happy for you to be able to, like. I, I was pretty yeah. stoked I was able to get all four of you guys together for one last trip, so. Yeah, that is pretty yeah. awesome. So, and we'll keep going on trips together. Right. And um, think yeah. about you while we're down. Right, and I promise I will the... watch those videos religiously. Yeah. <laughs> while, while you're in the warm waters of the, the Gulf yeah. of Mexico, we'll be up here in our, <laughs> yeah. our dry suits. Definitely. So. Yeah. Is Sam? Same man. Yeah. I love you, brother. It's been uh it's been really good getting to know you, you know, this last you know year or so and I really appreciate you the times that you called just to check on me. You know, yep. I really don't have a whole lot of people in my life that just call to say, Hey, how are you doing? Yeah. Uh, you know, so the times that you did that means a lot, man. Cool. So uh it's just, I mean, I'm sad to see you go, but I'm, I'm happy and I think it's a great blessing for you and your family and it's a good excuse. I have another excuse now to <laughs> go to Texas. Yeah. No, and, so, and I can't wait to see you guys come down and put you guys in some areas of adventure. Yeah. So I'll, I'll learn the area pretty good and then say, hey, come check this out. Yeah, I <laughs> greatly appreciate you, brother, and lo love you, man. Yep. Yeah, I was, I was a little depressed. <laughs> um, 
hearing about Lee leaving because I was like, yeah. dang, you know, <laughs> I was sure. like, we had all these like future plans of, of going out and taking them all around the Puget Sound. Yeah. But you know, when you have an opportunity that's going to help your family, a good promotion, you know, it'd be good for him and Kimmy go down and get some roots settled in Texas. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, we'll have to plan a trip in the future, a few years down the road, we'll get something all put together. We can all go down and you know, go do a little dive, maybe in some quarry or something, and go look for some relics out there in the desert or wherever you're going to be living. I hear so, there's a pretty a couple of really good lakes to dive in down there. In yeah. There, so. Well, not only that, I think uh, you know you go down to like Corpus Christi area, and mm -hmm. I think they go out and they do like some spear fishing on oil rigs or something, okay. something like that. You know, so that'd be kind yeah. of cool, to kind of look into and build up to something like that. Yeah. But uh, well, let's go in the water and let's see what you find. Sounds yeah. good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Do you like this under your arm? Yep. Okay. Bring it. Oh, that's good. Okay, good. Um, oh yeah, okay. Okay. Alright, good to go. And to think, I brushed my hair this morning. Why do I bother? Yeah, me and Corey were, thought you had. Hmm? Me and Corey thought you had. We were just looking. So, oh man, it looks like Jim brushed his hair. It's rare these days, but it happens. So Lee is going to be completing some skills with Jim. He's going to be doing his dry suit skills, and he's going to be doing his deep diving skills. So we're going to go down to about a hundred feet, and then turn around and go back up and uh, just look for some critters and stuff along the way. So today the visibility is about 10-15 feet with a little bit of clock. So Lee and Jim kind of moved ahead and I'm just kind of stopping here and there. I'm just doing a little bit of filming, trying to get a little bit of the marine life to put together for Lee for his uh, last adventure with us up here in Washington. So right before we hit about the 100 foot mark and turning around, I catch up with Lee and Jim and they find a bottle with the Octo in it. So that's pretty cool. Let me just show you guys this little octopus and get a couple different angles with it with my camera. So we always pick up some garbage here and there while we're diving, but one of the things about uh, garbage is bottles are actually a great place for marine life to hide in and live in to seek shelter from predators. Octopus love hiding in these little bottles. Anemones need a hard surface to attach to and grow, so here's one growing on the side of an old jar. So these red anemones are really cool. I believe these are the sand anemones, typically six to 10 inches in diameter. These are swimming anemones, and these are about three to six inches in diameter. Occasionally, you know, diving around the Puget Sound, you will find some old bottles or jars. These are old cream jars. A lot of them are all chipped up and banged up in this area. These are a group of brittle stars. Typically you'll find these hiding underneath like rocks, logs, any kind of objects. Uh, these are out in the open because it's probably just dark down here deep in the Puget Sound. A large metal object with a little hole in the side. Looks like there's a little scared rockfish in there and on top a bunch of giant plumus anemones. As I follow this little rock crab up, and I see another little cream jar sitting right here in the sand. Looks like 
we got a bunch of uh, red rock crabs hanging out here and most of them are buried in the sand. They always like to find a nice solid object to burrow in the sand next to or up on the shelf. Uh, it's crawling with them down here. They're not too bad to eat. Their shells are really tough and uh, these crab, they usually put up a pretty good fight when you're harvesting them. Here's a large giant plumeless anemone. It's in here, a little poultry star sit at its base. Here's another giant plumeless anemone. You could find them typically orange or white. Here's a beaded anemone. It looks like it's uh, eating a part of a piece of eelgrass. Looks like I bumped into Lee and Jim. Lee is just demonstrating some dry suit skills for his dry suit class for Jim so he could check him off of that training. It looks like this cross jelly is also demonstrating some dry suit skills by kicking out of the vertical position. Here's a nice little blue starfish. This is probably an Otri star. Here's a graceful crab, just burrowed right into the sand. Probably annoyed that I'm shining a light in its face. Look at this little itty bitty hermit crab. Most likely a young black eye hermit crab. Looking at all these big red rock crab, it's making me miss eating crab. I mean, the shell is tough, but they're pretty good. What an amazing day, hanging out with Lee, Jim, and Sam down here in Puget Sound, Washington. Lee was able to complete his dry suit and deep diving skills, and now he will have an advanced certification arriving to him in the mail. Thank you guys, I really appreciate a great time. Lee, it is sad to see you go, but we totally understand you have to go down there for your promotion and support your family. We wish you the best of luck. We will miss you and we will see you soon down there. Thank you everybody, take care, be safe. We'll see you on the next one. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and click on the next video that YouTube thinks you should watch. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your support.